Hello, Kevin here. Happy 2019, everyone. It is good to be behind the microphone once again. In this episode, we say goodbye to Google+. Plus. We find out where I've been over the last couple of months, and I introduce you to our brand new website. Yay! <laughs> Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. This April 2019, we get to say goodbye to a friend, Google+. Plus. Google announced on October 8, 2018, that they will be sunsetting Google+, Plus for consumers. That means you and me. The uh, shutdown process was going to take 10 months to complete, but in December they moved things up and now Google+, Plus will shut its doors in April. As a matter of fact, the spin down has already begun by shuttering parts of the Google Plus API services. So, why is Google ending Google Plus? Well, there are several reasons. Uh, one of the reasons Google says was uh, low numbers of active users. Now, I'm kind of iffy on that one. I still see quite a bit of activity in my feeds even after the shutdown announcement. Another reason were a couple of data breaches they discovered one right after another. So, instead of putting the resources in to fix it, they're going to use those resources to end the service. Google is very well known for ending services, even popular ones. Google Reader and Google Talk come to mind, two services that I used on a daily basis. So, the announcement of them ending Google Plus is no real shocker. It's just disappointing. I joined Google Plus not long after it launched in 2011. Through all its ups and downs, I really liked the service and stayed quite active on it. If you would like to know more about Google Plus, its history, and about its shutdown, I provided some links in the show notes. So for you Google Plus users out there, how can you download your data? At the time I'm writing this, Google has yet to announce an easy way to do it, but I do have some options for you. The first option is a third-party service called Google Plus Exporter. It's by the people behind Friends Plus Me. I've mentioned them before on this podcast. It's a, it was, <laughs> a Google Plus cross-posting service. It will take your Google Plus feed and export it over into WordPress, Blogger, or even into a JSON file for you. The other option is Google's own takeout service. From there, you can download all the data from all of Google's services. This includes Google Calendar, Gmail, Blogger, and everything else you use Google for. Now, when you do use this service, please remember, if you do take out, uncheck everything but the Google Plus stuff. Otherwise, you're going to be downloading for a while. Again, I'll have links to these in the show notes. So, as a Google Plus user, where do you go from here? Is there a similar network like Google Plus you can move to? Well, there are different social networks out there. It all depends on what you want to do and uh, what kind of services they provide. From my perspective, I would say there are three mainstream services out there. Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Twitter is a fine service but it doesn't have any groups or communities. I'm on Twitter quite a bit. I share links, images, thoughts, and I get most of my headline news from it. It's a quality service. If you're going to pick any of those three, I would suggest Twitter first if you're not already on Twitter. Now, Reddit is all about communities, but it's organized like a giant forum. And it has its own quirks and a culture behind it that some people might not like. It's a good service, but it's not for everyone. Now, I'm going to say the F word. Facebook, <laughs> I would say, is the closest match to Google+. Probably considering Google+, copied a lot of the things that Facebook was already doing. <laughs> 
I've even found myself using Facebook more lately. And that is from someone who doesn't like Facebook all that much. But that's where a lot of the people I know are right now. So I'm going to kind of use it. Of course, Facebook has its own problems, as you may have read in the news. And many notable people are abandoning the service for various reasons. So there is that to consider. I would also include Instagram under the Facebook umbrella. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Instagram. I practically have it open every night as my relaxation before bed. But Facebook influence can be seen all over it, as in it has more ads in it, and that terrible, terrible algorithm-based feed they force upon you. Facebook is both growing and killing Instagram at the same time. Oh, sorry. That was my own little rant there. Sorry. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> now, if you don't want to try out those services, I don't blame you. They are the mainstream services out there. Um, just search around. There are a abundance of social networks out there. You just got to find the one that's a good match for you. For example, there is uh, Mastodon or Dysphoria. Now, each of these have their own pros and cons. I really like Mastodon, and I see a, quite a lot of potential in it. And there are new social networks launching right now. You might consider the likes of uh, MeWe or OpenBook. In fact, I'm currently looking over MeWe, that's M-E-W-E, and I hope to have a full review for you in the next month or so. So, dear Google Plus friends, it was fun while it lasted. And I know it's a disappointing time with the shutdown and all, but we have options. So, let us say goodbye to our friend, Google Plus. I'll have links to all these and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is talk about your favorite social network and why you like it. Let's try to convince some friends to move over there. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for Web Ring membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the Web Ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Well, hello everyone. You might be wondering, where the hell have you been for the last few months? Well, <laughs> I've been sick. <laughs> I can say that, honestly. For the entire month of December, that uh, Donna and I both came down with some sort of uh, cold or flu or something that had us both coughing our lungs out. Poor Donna had to go get some antibiotics to help clear hers up, and uh, mine's finally starting to ease off. I can go five minutes without having a coughing fit. <laughs> um, That was a lot of fun. Matter of fact, all during this podcast, you might have been hearing my voice crack a little bit. It's still not 100% recovered from a month-long coughing fit. But uh, it is getting better. And I thought, you know what? I sound good enough. Let's get a podcast out. So hopefully I don't sound too rough. <laughs> but I haven't been exactly sitting around these last two months. I have been busy building a brand new website for the Blog Oklahoma podcast. Matter of fact, I launched blogoklahoma.net last week. I've already gotten some feedback. People seem to like the new design. They like that they can uh, more easily find the episodes and read the show notes and get those valuable links from every episode. Um, I got a brand new player installed on there, so it's been working a hell of a lot better than the last one. The last one wasn't terrible, but it would glitch every once in a while. This one seems to be working pretty solidly. And I've integrated my vlog a little bit better. Um, I am hosting the vlog on YouTube using both my personal and Blog Oklahoma account, but uh, I thought this is a great place to put it in the Blog Oklahoma podcast website, so I hope you enjoy those too. So uh, please uh, go to blogoklahoma.net, send me your feedback, and let me know what you think of the new website. Also, um, I mentioned earlier in the podcast that I am looking at MeWe, that is M-E-W-E dot -E com, it is a brand new social network. Um, 
I've been testing it out. It's been about a month that I've been on there now. Um, I don't hate it. I'm not in love with it, but uh, it is a new place. Um, it is a bit of a land run right now, so uh, you kind of have to filter through some stuff. Uh, there is no uh, advertising on the website, so there is that to consider. And they have a big privacy statement on there you might like. I kind of like that part of MeWe. Um, I would love it if you would go to MeWe, um, sign up, and look around yourself. See if what you think about the service. And then let me know what you think about the service. Uh, because I am going to be doing a full review on it in February. So uh, you got that to look forward to. And I would love to just hear your opinion on it. And I would love to connect with you on a different service besides Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> so there's that. Well, I hope everyone has a great January. I hope you're having a good 2019. <laughs> oh, I haven't podcasted in a while. So uh, it looks like I'm going to need some more practice. Okay. Let's go on. Did you know we have our own Cafe Press store? Probably not, since I've been gone for the last few months. Hey, we have our own Cafe Press store. There you can purchase a t-shirt, a coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please, head on over to cafepress.com slash blogoklahomapodcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There are many hours of music for you to enjoy. I'll have a link to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of January 20th, 2019, Blog Oklahoma has 727 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hooray! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get on me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.